Good day to you, sirs. Oh. Matt and I are here today. Where are we going? We are going to Cutty Sark. Yes, we are. The area of... We're going to be going to the observatory for the planetarium. Um, it's probably going to turn into quite the journey at the moment because a lot of the places are closed down, as happens. It's not even the weekend yet. It's Friday, but still, they tend to close down. Yeah, everything. For other reasons. Well, you said people have been Primaries. jumping on the line. There's been two jumpers today, so that's been awesome. But alas! Yes. <laughs> not us. I just had to film this really crazy overground. It's not an underground. It's like from the 70s or something. It's very quiet as well. But anyway, I'll film our journey on the way if it's not raining by the time we get there because it's in Greenwich Park, so it's really nice there. So, on our adventures, everybody. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the Royal Observatory. I don't know if you can see how high up we are now. We're not on fit, but it's not helping it's raining, but you know. So here we go. Royal Observatory here. With, this is where, just to give a history of where Greenwich Mean Time originates. As you can see here, the time. So we're going to go on get out of the rain for five seconds, which would be nice, and uh, go have a look at the planetarium and other things, really, and the alien revolution exhibition that's going on. So uh, maybe get some footage of that and see how we get not. I have to get a nice view of whilst we're up here, because the smog is insane for a start. Look at it up here. Crazy, you can barely see the actual buildings at the back there. But I had to show that. Oh, there's the O2 over there. What else is distinguishable? The Gherkin. Yes, the Gherkin building. And what's that new building that they built? Really tall, pointy. Oh, the, the pointy. Is that Hogsmeade Hotel, I think? Is it? Yeah, like, I think so. Fancy Hotel. But still, that's the. Down there is the Maritime Museum, which is of shippery and ships. So we might see that later as well. So in the meantime, we're going to go and find the Mirrodin line to go and stand in the east and the west at the same time and and defy time. And here they have astronomy centre and the Peter Harrison Planetarium. Trying to find where you are. Do you want to go I'm in? Here. Should yes, we go in? Just, just check it out. Let's investigate. <laughs> Nobody else is going in here, see. So I want to see what's going on. So it's haunted then. Oh, it's telling us about solar system, I see. And about the sun. What's happening to the sun. And then you go out the other side, to which is the planet Arium. Up here. You know, almost like you go on the planetarium with. And according to this, London's only planetarium. How about that? Yes. Only planetarium. Look at the sun glinting. Oh. If you should visit the sad news is we're informed in that we've got 4,500 years left. If you're planning to live that long, that's oh, it. Oh, dang that. it. That's um, what we've got. So. But only a few years to actually fill in then. But actually travel it's the world downer. pretty damn soon. <laughs> Let's go uh, see, I think the planetarium, which I keep saying that for anybody who's a South Park fan, they'll know why I'm saying that, because there's an episode of Dead Keith's to planetarium and a guy who can't pronounce it properly. The building here, oh cool, look on the top. The ship. This is a really cool building. I'd like to live here. It's awesome. The astronomy center. Well, I love astronomy, so let's go in. Okay, here we go. I just have to film this because this is what people believe that aliens look like on the planet. Look at this guy. Maybe we just used to look like that. Perhaps. That's Maybe we actually man. had and this weird cow-like creature and stalks. He's only taking yeah. cave drawings. They're, they're just hilarious. The, the wings actually look like, you know, like the early airplanes when they had the different wings. 
things on them. And Put in fine sheared beards there. <laughs> yes, very Look at the beardage. The whole body is hairy, but yet yeah, their face is hairless from the beard. And they're white as well. Oh yeah, don't forget not... that they're white, they're always white. <laughs> After just going through the area from which they're comparing movies to aliens, we have Lovable E.T., we have the, the, what would you call this? It's not really destroying of the earth. It's just, I'm not quite sure that I feel the, the storyline. They're trying to save it, but we misunderstand yeah. it. It starts shooting them or something. But anyway, yes. Um, you were just telling me an interesting yes, story. It's got nothing to do with alien life or any of the misinformation they're giving at this exhibition. <laughs> yes, no misinformation. Offense, we'll talk about that in a minute. But, um, the Daily Earth is still famously for sci-fi movie geeks and such. Um, it's referring to the lead character being called the Clantu, and I believe that he gets killed like the second he arrives because they go, "It's an alien shooter." And his giant robot, his giant rubbery metal robot thing there, this <laughs> guy, it starts attacking everyone. And his activation sequence is he says Clantu, Zito, and his Barada. And it's the free names which will let you some free Star Wars characters in Jabba's employ. And the free words that Bruce Campbell is supposed to say in Evil Dead 3 when he's getting the book. Do you remember? Because he forgets them. He's and like, he doesn't say it correctly. Completely irrelevant to what the exhibition is about. But, but still, it's, we'll it's, cover it's, the got, it's got depth in history. Yeah. It's historical in a movie manner. It's almost <laughs> true. Check that I'm in that last word. I'm not sure what the last word We'll is. find it out. And we'll if anybody knows, it. then comment below. Yes. You know. <laughs> talking about apparently that uh, you know it was a weather balloon that crashed and that military authorities decline and dispel the rumors about flying saucers and clearly all lies conspiracy theories start appearing and the possibility that any cover up might relate is not seriously considered which is why you can't get on that ground this one is talking about Betty and Barney Hill, apparently they were influenced by the Outer Limits that was broadcast 12 days before. Which these poor guys, what if they were abducted yet? The weather has cleared, as you can see, and we have now found the Mirrodin line. It's over there, and we're going to walk over it and stand in the east and the west because it's cost us money to yes. stand on a line. For anybody else who wants to come stand in the Mirrodin, yes. let us do it now as we walk towards, as everybody else is doing here, we're going to be tourists. Let's go. Let's walk. Look up on the line. I'm on the line. I'm on the line. I'm right on the line. I'm in the east and the west at the same time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, conclusion time. We've got a beautiful view behind us. Look, look, it's not raining now, so you can see it. <laughs> and we've got the, the dome from before, so just in case I didn't get it before. And the Meriden line was just on the other side of there with the apartment of the astronomers that discovered these amazing discoveries, which were, you know, tried to be hidden, I suppose. They were, because they found all these these discoveries about space and whatnot, and you know, should be found out, should it, I guess, in the religious world, let's put it that way, I suppose. But yeah, uh, just a little conclusion, I guess, to give a review of the alien exhibit. Yes. Because it was very uh, hidden, it conspiracies was, don't exist. I think it's a hidden agenda that they, they make out looks very exciting, and other aliens, uh -huh. or what we know, and you go exactly. in there, and they kind of just lean towards making you go, so want to think there is no such thing, I yeah, think. Uh -huh. Definitely. I mean, they were kind of comparing things like Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters and Avatar and loads of other different people things. People claim that Steven Steve Spielberg invented that look. Yeah. And that other people have been abducted by some Yeah, exactly. The, you know, that he didn't actually research anything and that they just look like humans, blah, blah, blah. And then as I had a little footage of it anyway, about the parts where they were talking about the weather balloon incident at Roswell. Yes. I mean, goodness sake. It was the biggest denial <laughs> piece about Roswell ever. The yep. fact it's still shut off to the world yep. and you can't go on it kind of says a lot, I think. And talking about Project Blue Book as well, where it was shut down because there was no evidence. Oh, goodness everything. sake. 
just the whole thing. I mean, as I was saying, there's a lot of little kids, little wee youngins around today. They're going to go to that exhibit and they're going to think, you know what, yeah, it is pretty stupid for me to ever think of aliens. Because, um, yeah, of course, why would they exist when this exhibit proves to me that Steven Spielberg invented them? Yes. I feel like it's, it's designed to put people off thinking. Themselves. Yeah, yeah, as usual, but we clever. It's all lines. If you go no, to this exhibition, it's all lines. It's lies! <laughs> but alas, come to your own conclusions. Yes. Do you believe in UFOs, aliens, life on other planets, whatever you would call them? Do you believe in them? Anyway, we're going to look at the actual park now and other areas of London. We have down here, as I said earlier, the Maritime Museum and Greenwich Park in its surroundings. So, since the weather's holding off, let's go take a view. The time being, I guess it's goodbye from us. Um, yeah, that's the that's conclusion of this, uh, what's it technically called? The Royal Observatory Greenwich, that's what it's called. So yes. come view it. It's just... Yes, come spend some time where time starts. <laughs> spend guess. some time where time starts. I think we should pull that on a t-shirt. <laughs> that they should, they're probably going to use this as a tourism. Yeah, yeah, copyright thing. it quick before someone steals it. Spend time where time starts. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs>